Okay, everyone, so today we're going to make some guava pa uh, paste and uh, cheese. Uh, what do you call this? Um, I forgot the name. Empanadas. I am so sorry. These are really delicious. Guava that I know of comes from Puerto Rico. Sorry for the lighting. This is really delicious. Pairs off nicely with the mozzarella cheese. You can use whatever cheese of your choice. You could dip it in whatever sauce you'd like. So today, we're going to start with this guava paste. Like I said, I believe this originates from Puerto Rico, but I'm not sure. And we're going to use mozzarella cheese. I'm just going to cut it, cut it up here. I'm going to show you how I made it. It's very easy. We're just using pieces of cheese and pieces of guava. You put as much or as little as you like. This is really, really good. The guava tastes so good. It is really, really, what do you call it? Sweet. So it pairs off nice with the cheese. And I'm going to put it in an empanada. And we're just going to fry it up. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to put a piece of cheese and a piece of guava. This is sweet. This is salty. We're going to pair them together. We're going to put them in a disc. And we are going to use the fork at the end of the empanada just to make sure it closes up we don't want that cheese oozing out this tastes really really good oh my god you have to make it you won't know until you make it guava paste you can find it at any supermarket especially a hispanic supermarket and mozzarella cheese if you want mozzarella cheese you could use any other kind of cheese you'd like I'm going to turn on the stove on medium. I've already had this oil cooking. That's why you see it a little dark. Let me clean it out a little. Try to get some of that dark out of there. Sorry about that. If not, this all this will show on your empanadas. But that's okay anyway. What matters is how they taste. They're going to look good, too. I just press them together even after I do the knife uh, impression on it. I still press it together. Fork impression, I'm sorry. My nine-year-old granddaughter just told me it was fork impression. <laughs> oh, my God, Jelly, you are so cute. God bless you. Okay, so we're just going to wait for that to fry. It's on medium heat. We just want the cheese to melt. And I'm telling you, if you make these, you're going to love them. Most Puerto Ricans have had this. You, uh, you eat the guava, which is sweet, like I said, with a piece of cheese. They have this in the corner store around where I live. And I bought them a couple of times. And I said, oh, wow, that tastes really good. I'm surprised I haven't thought about making those. And then I said, oh, my God, no, I'm making those. And here I go. Can you guys please like my video? I don't have too many likes. I don't know why. I think I'm okay. I'm not the best cook out there, but I'm okay. I'm pretty good. I'll show you more recipes. I don't have too many likes, I don't have any comments, not too many, a few, and I need more subscribers, please. I would love that, remember it's Christmas. Okay, so I'm pressing down on these with the fork, and then I try to tighten them a little bit with my fingers, and it's okay if they open up, because they cook really quick, they fry really quick. Okay, let me turn this one over. 
Okay, as you can see, it's only been about a minute or two on that one. Oh, here goes this one. We're just going to let them fry up. And they will taste delicious. Oh my God. I've already had one. I always have something of what I make. And look at this. Look at this delicacy. My hands are so greasy. But this tastes so good. It's okay. Make some of these. They go good with coffee, hot chocolate, or just a glass of milk. Really, really good. Give me one minute, guys. I'm going to wash my hands. Can you keep it going sideways? Just try to keep it sideways without dropping it into the oil. We don't want the phone to fry. They're coming out really, really good. Can you guys please try making these? I promise you, you're going to love them. Oh, this one's opening up. No good. But it's okay, I've already made a few. If one opens up, that's okay. This is some of the dirty grease. I don't know why this grease is fairly new. You hear that bubbling in there? Oh my God. I want to dive into there. Not really, because I would get burnt so badly. But they will taste so good. Like I said, you could dip them into hot sauce, ranch dressing, sour cream, whatever you like to dip, uh, dip them in. They, they, they're going to taste good no matter what. It's sweet and, and uh, salty in there. Salty from the cheese and the sweet from the guava. This is guava paste. I believe it originates from Puerto Rico. That's where I've always had it from. Guava paste. See? And the cheese I'm using today is mozzarella. A little slice of each. And you'll be in heaven. Okay, so we're going to take these out. Like I said, they only take a few minutes to fry up. If they open up, that's okay. They taste delicious no matter what. Look at this. Look at this deliciousness. They may get really brown on you. They might not. They might just get golden. But the flavor will be there. Go ahead and make yourself some. Yes, guava paste and cheese, Swiss cheese, mozzarella cheese, American cheese, the cheese of your choice. Let me get this out. I do not want to get, oh, sorry, another blooper. I'm always having a blooper. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I'm going to turn this off. See this? I'm going to open up one for you. I just hope it's not too hot. I don't want to get burned again. I already got burned. Please, guys, can you like? Can you comment down below and subscribe to my channel? I think my recipes are pretty good. They're not that bad. They're not the best, but they're not that bad. Look at this. My fingers are burning. But it's okay. It's worth it. 
Okay, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment down below, and hit that bell for notifications. Have a blessed night.